Brooklyn Independent Television. We're back here at Boys and Girls High School, and of course the Kangaroos are holding practice, preparing for their season already in progress. And joining me is... I'm Bryce Jones, senior here at Boys and Girls High School. And your name? Wesley Myers, junior point guard. All right, fellas, so how's it going so far this season in progress? Um, season going on, it's going fine. You working hard? How about yourself? It's a good thing now knowing that we're top 20 in the nation and it don't stop here, we're going to keep working hard. Yeah, how do you feel when you get those sort of ratings? You know, you're one of the top teams in the country. Do you get big headed or does your coach keep you in check? We just going to stay humble. Just we, we felt coming into the season, we was underrated by putting us five in the city. So we just came out, work hard, and we just going to keep working harder until the ultimate goal is that championship. Yeah, you feel like you still got something to prove. We ain't won the championship yet. Everybody left. And we still here remaining, basically. During your first day of practice, for your first day of practice, what did your coach say to you guys coming back? Oh, that we got to be veterans and we got to lead the younger guys <laughs> into the season, basically. Yeah, preferring what Wesley said. And um, Coach Carroll, he always promotes defense, defense, and defense is what got us two-time defending champion, so, and that's what we're going to do this year, play even more defense. That's, that's what our game is predicated on. Now, matter of fact, we're basically in the beginning of the season. You know, you, you, you defeated Lincoln High School for the championship at the Garden. Are you looking forward to playing the rail splitters again? I know you guys face each other a lot, probably in different leagues over the course of the summer. We're looking forward to, yeah, you can say so. We're looking forward to play anybody, whoever's ready, and we're just going to be ready for anybody. There's a lot of bickering going on. Uh, like what? We underrated. Nobody really thinking of us like that. Like, we're going to win the championship. So, you got to prove people wrong. Is it, just, is it the media? Is it fans that has underestimated you guys overall? Everybody. Other teams going on Facebook. We underrated. We just got to prove people wrong. We proved, we proved to um, press game. Yeah, my thing is that they think that everybody left. Like, we have no more Antoine Slaughter, Mike Taylor, Malik Nichols. But we still have us. We've been here. We learned a lot from those guys, and they should be showing What did you learn from them? Well, me, I didn't see a lot of playing time last year. And, like, in practice now, Antoine used to always teach me a lot as, like, a bigger brother. So I'm taking his steps that he, that, that he gave me to walk in, and I'm just using it, taking it, my, taking it to my advantage and bringing everything out on the court every time I play. Oh, I learned basically, because I, I got, I seen minutes on the court as the season went along. I learned how to stay cool in the clutch and just do what I do in practice, stay confident. I heard your, speaking of practice, I heard your practices are notoriously rough. For example, what is an average practice like? Average practice? I don't think it's average practice. Every, every day, have study hall, we study hard, then we come downstairs, we run hard run real hard, and then we don't touch a basketball for the first first hour or so, so what we do, we just work hard, lead each other, and we just a family. Is conditioning also key? That's the biggest key. That's everything. Yeah. That, that's the majority of what we do. majority of what we're doing is our conditioning. Our practice is based on conditioning. Because usually we're not that big, so we got to get up and down to get more shots. And on defense, we got to get back. Defense. Do you like the fact that you are underestimated at all? It seems like you, you, you get a big kick out of it. I, I get a big kick out of it. Why? Why? To prove somebody wrong or what they doubted you on is more than anything. Because it's a lot of doubt. We have a lot of doubt on us, basically. And we got to come through. And the same thing with Wesley said. I mean, it's a good feeling that like once you get over the hump of being underrated, that, that you're proving fans or the critics wrong. It's a good feeling. Well, I'm sure you guys are going to do that this year. Two-time defending champs, PSAL basketball in the city. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more. Look at Boys and Girls Hoops right after this. Download this program's podcast on iTunes. Keywords, Brooklyn Independent Television.